Hi, my name is Randy Barber with CRU. Today we're going to do a demo of a new product called Skylock. Skylock is a product that protects computers from persistency of malware attacks using a hardware device that I'm holding in my hand. This device replaces a standard boot drive in a system and provides a protective shield, if you will, to the system against malware attacks that, that need to become persistent. We're going to show you this using a malware demo that we created. With this demo, we're very visual. We're going to, you're going to see a lot of things happening and uh, you'll be able to kind of follow what's going on. One of those things is I've got three folders here on the desktop. One is of some pictures that can, I can open. Everything's available to me. I've got some music also that can be played. And then I've got a folder that has some confidential information in it in the form of some PDFs. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this virus. And again, normally a hacker would not be this visual, but we want you to be able to see what we're doing. And as the sign says, at this point, there's no need to panic because we're going to be able to easily recover from this literally with a reboot. We're going to look at what has happened here. These folders now have been changed so that I am locked out. And even though I am the administrator, I can't get into my own folders of the, those two folders. The folder of the confidential information has actually been deleted. It's gone. As I mentioned, we don't need to panic at this point. So at this point, all we're going to do is reboot the system and we'll be right back to the original configuration where we started. So now we're back from our reboot, and as you can see, our system is back to the configuration we had prior to the malware attack. My folders are available to me. I can get back to my pictures. The, the music folder is the same, and my confidential folder is back. For this demo, we're going to use a piece of malware we created that renders a computer inoperable. Now, this is done through persistency. And this is exactly what Skylock protects against. This could be used as part of, say, a ransomware or some other uh, attack that literally just is trying to create a situation where you can no longer use a computer without starting over and re-imaging it. Also, I'm going to simulate what might happen if this was an insider threat. So to do that, what I've done is I've placed this malware onto a thumb drive that has my music on it. For example, there's a series of, uh, of uh, MP3s here that I could play if I was going to. But the one here at the bottom, when I launch this, it's going to ask me if it's okay to run. Now understand, we're not acting as a hacker here. Somebody coming in and doing this would get around this part of Windows protection. But I'm going to go ahead and release this. And you can see that it starts its efforts to become persistent in the system. We get a backdrop change and now our cursor is doing something very erratic and as it turns out I have absolutely no control from the keyboard or from the mouse. At this point my com I can't use this computer. But with Skylock the fact that we're not allowing this to become persistent all I have to do is power cycle the device in this case, I'm going to hold the front panel button in. You could also just pull the AC cord out of the wall if you would like. Computer just went off. Turn it back on to let it go through its boot cycle. And there we are right back to the original configuration after the power cycle. And for example, I can go right back to that same place where I was and my music is still there. I can play it. I have total control of the computer. Now while this demo has been very visual, imagine had this persistent malware been something more sinister and hidden where it's running in the background. As you can see, Skylock has kept that from happening. But just to show you that possibility, what I've done is I've gone ahead and placed Skylock into an administrative mode that will allow us now to make changes to the system. And I'm going to rerun the same virus, and we're going to show that the virus does become persistent. So going right back to the same 
source, I'm going to run the exact same piece of malware. I'll say yes. Interestingly, we find that for phishing attacks, a number of people would actually say yes to that question when they know they shouldn't. So now we have the exact same situation with the erratic cursor. I have no control over this unit. I'm going to go ahead and force a shutdown. And I'm going to reboot the computer. In this case, because we were in administrative mode, you see Windows do what you would expect Windows to do when you force a shutdown. I'm going to say go ahead and start it normally. And you can see the virus has taken off again. It takes a second because, again, we've added time delays in this virus. Under normal circumstances, that would already be done and, and your backdrop would have changed and the erratic behavior would have already started. The only way to recover this computer now would be to reinstall Windows or re-image it to your golden standard. And this is the power of Skylock. This gives you an ability to protect a system, to make sure that malware persistency can't happen, and give you a clean recovery with a simple reboot back to the last known good configuration. So in conclusion, what we've seen are two malware attacks done against a Skylock protected computer in which the persistency required by the malware was not able to happen. And through a simple reboot or in the one case a power cycle, we were able to recover our computer back to the last known good configuration.